Hi, my name is Astrid and I'm the program manager here at the Salmon Arm Art Centre. For today's Family Saturday, I am going to show you how to make some small artwork. This is really timely because in the new year, we are having an open members exhibition here at the Art Gallery, which means that anyone can make small artwork and enter it into the exhibition. So things that you will need for your tiny artwork. You will need some pieces of foam core. As you can see, you don't need, it doesn't have to be great condition, it can be reused. You will need a ruler and a cutter to make sure that your uh, shape is even and square. You'll need some acrylic medium or even just some white glue mixed with water. Paintbrush, water, it's really great to have some fun collage paper to use as a background. This is some hand-painted uh, hand paper that we had on hand. Um, and then it's good just to protect your work surface a little bit as well. Scissors are also handy. So as I mentioned for the Pequa exhibition, it's all about small artwork. Six inches or less in any direction and it has to be on some sort of canvas. So this is a, a foam core canvas that we're going to use and we're going to make a teeny tiny two by three inch canvas that on the back has a mounting strip so it can hang on the wall. Like say there's a nail and bloop, it hangs on the wall. And the spacer strip, and that keeps it uh, spaced away from the wall. So it sort of floats out a little bit. So let's begin. You take your piece of foam core, you want to measure, I'm using this green underlay here, to make sure I am not larger than six inches. I'm gonna make a teeny tiny one so you can cut it. You can take, say, an X-Acto knife. You can use some scissors. Once you have the size you're working with, you get to decide what you want this front of the canvas to look like. I like this purple paper. So, I'm gonna put it down. Here comes the old acrylic medium. If you are like me and patience is not your virtue, this is fun because you don't have to be super precise. Also great if you're doing kiddos. Patience is not their virtue. Often, sometimes, glob it on, take your piece, and now you can see well on this one, you're wrapping it around like a Christmas present really. So squishy squish. Folding over. I would probably also use some tape right now. It's the kind of artist I am. Squish! Hmm. This particular paper isn't super awesome. But... Okay, to help, I'm gonna take something heavy like this magazine. Help give it some even pressure. And we'll put something on it. And then I'll go eat a cookie. We should give it about 15 minutes to dry. So I don't like how this paper is lifting here and it's not super sticking. So I'm taking a bit more of my acrylic medium. Just smushing it in there, painting it down. Squish. So you do need to have like some good pressure on here. So again, a can of lentils, a National Geographic, something with some weight to hold it down. You've also got the option of creating your artwork before the strips are on in the back. That might make it a bit more steady. So for example, with my, cu Ooh, my cupcake here, Smurg a whole bunch. If you are uh, much better at doing collage than I am, you might have realized from the beginning it's usually better to tear the edges because they're feathered and not only easier to glue down but sort of a, a bit of a softer blend into your background piece. Or if you have a very sharp tool like an X-Acto or some very precise scissors, 
you could cut along the edges of a really detailed photograph, such as this delicious cupcake with sprinkles. Mm -hmm. And that sharp edge will give a nice contrast. For this particular canvas, uh, rather than working with images, my next step is to work with words. I'm going to create a little collage poem on this one here. So although I'm going to adhere my uh, text here, it's important for me to cover cupcake with a layer of the acrylic medium at this point because you don't want it to wrinkle up. So you need basically you need glue on top and on the bottom to keep it flat, sealed, beautiful. Voila. So my tiny artwork is going to be a collage poem. So you can see I've begun it and I realized I needed a toothpick to actually help me place the words a little better. And I put some glue in a dish just to help me out. So I've got my words here. I'll place them down using the glue and at the end I'll cover everything again with some acrylic medium. was trying to decide on my last line of the poem and I think I'm going to go for the racier version. That's more fun. Here's my poem. My best friend gave me a Viking recipe, guaranteed to bring me joy and wonder. Open waters, cold showers, and radical care for women on the run. Aww. So now that I've got my collage the way I want, we have to do an all over splurg of the acrylic medium. And I'll say something about uh, the collage words themselves. It's good to have a variety of magazines on hand to give you choice. Uh, the New Yorker was very good for things like semicolons and first person um, words like uh, me, myself, that kind of stuff. Because lots of personal essays. National Geographic really also good for lots of different large fonts and so forth. Um, and then I had a random artist art magazine um, that also had some really silly ads for like watches and silver coins and stuff to have words like guaranteed and stuff like that. So those are all very good things. So you put this stuff all over. You can see it's bubbling a bit. That's life. This will dry clear. You really want to smooth it out though, so you don't get like pools of it. We're gonna let this wait to sit because then remember we need to put the backings on it, uh, my mounting strip and my spacer. So here's my completed six by six collage poem that I can now enter in Pequa. And collage is a really easy medium um, to do because you can start with old magazines, New Yorker, some random artist uh, magazine. Uh, National Geographic is really great because they often have lots of uh, great color photographs that can be the background for your collage and lots of good words. And remember at the beginning I showed our teeny tiny little canvas. I could make another small collage on here but you're not limited to collage. You could do photography, watercolor, fiber art, and we'll make some more videos showing examples of those. So thanks for watching. I hope you have a really happy Saturday. We really look forward to welcoming as many members of art into Pequot as possible. And we look forward to a day when we can welcome all our Young Family Saturday artists in the gallery once again. Until then, stay cool, stay creative. We'll see you soon.